let us understand what are opposite integers. Opposite integers are same distance away from origin. Well, to add or subtract integers, we'll use number line. So number line extends on both the sides with origin right in the center. So the numbers on the right are positive, numbers on the left of origin are negative. Now when we say opposite integers, then that means the two numbers are same distance away from zero, right? So if I write minus three here, then the opposite integer will be plus three. For five, plus five, the opposite integer will be minus five. So same distance away from origin. So that is the concept of opposite integer. Another important thing to remember here is that sum of opposite integers is always zero. That means if I add minus three and plus three, I will get zero. If I add minus five and plus five, I will get zero. So sum of opposite integers is always zero. Now that leads to zero principle. Zero principle states that sum of opposite integers is zero. Now this is very important principle. We are going to use this in adding and subtracting integers in the following videos, right? So remember these three things about opposite integers. First, opposite integers are same distance away from origin. Second, sum of opposite integers is always zero, right? And that is what we call zero principle. Now with that in mind, let us answer the questions. First one is plus 4 plus minus 4 equals to what? Now plus 4 and minus 4 are opposite integers. When you add them, you should get 0. That's right. So 0 is the answer for this question. How about minus 6 plus plus 6? These are also opposite integers. So their sum should be 0. Part C is minus 1 plus what is 0? minus 1 plus opposite integer should be 0, correct? So what is the opposite integer of minus 1? It is plus 1, correct? So that should be plus 1. minus 1 plus plus 1 is always 0. Now how about something plus 5 equals to 0? That something should be what? That something should be opposite integer of 5 and the integer is minus 5. So minus 5 is opposite integer of 5. When you add them up, you get 0, correct? That is how we answer these questions. Now E and F, here you are free to write any number. What number should you write? Well, these should be set of opposite integers, correct? So if I write 7 here, minus 7 that is, then this number should be plus 7. So when you add opposite integers, you will always get 0. That's a reminder. Now 0 plus what is 0? The only number which 0 adds to to make it 0 is 0 itself. Remember 0 does not have any sign. So when we say 0 we do not add or subtract or we do not put plus or minus sign with it. So 0 consider this to be without a sign. Okay. So that is how we understand a positive integer. It is important that we understand Opposite integers, when added together, results into a zero. And we will apply this strategy to add and subtract integers in the following videos. Thank you and all the best.